item number um, three, discussion regarding offer to purchase two acres presently owned by Pyramid and Baker. Mr. Zarkis? Yes, sir. In January, when well, I was here before you guys, before the, the board, I was under the impression I got one year to turn into drawing and get everything started. <laughs> And uh, I didn't, I guess, my fault, I didn't read the fine print. Here we are five months later, and I was told that the, it expired sometime in June. The, so, uh, is there any way possible I can get until the end of the year? Uh, I'm trying my best. I have total investments in that property, over $90,000 cash. Mm -hmm. I can show you the proof for all that. I never had the intention of buying a piece of property to sit on it and turn it, you know, for cash later on. Uh, I moved back to this area five months ago just so I can start <coughs> managing it and you know, get it taken care of. And the, the, I think the biggest issue here, I have a stream of bad lucks with uh, architects. I just paid them and I can show proof. Paid them again two weeks ago over $5,000. I know I promised Mr. Cherry that I'm going to uh, uh, mow it, and I haven't done it yet because every one of them was $3,000, and I thought it was a little high. But if you get, if this is what it's going to take, I'll get a cut this week. You know, I'll give you guys a check. Or, you know, I'll give the board, I apologize about the language. I'll give the board the check for $3,000, and they can go ahead and find somebody to do it. I'll write the check right now before I leave. So it, it, it's not about the money, it's not about, you know, I'm dragging my feet, it's not about I'm trying to deceive anybody. It, it, it just, that's what's going on. So. Okay. So your, your request, Mr. Zarkis, is what? I'm requesting until the end of the year if it's possible because I, it's my fault. I didn't read the fine print. I thought it was until, I thought when we met in January, I got granted 12 months, you know, and I thought it was going to take me until the end of the year. So. You see, uh, you bought the property in uh, 09, is that right? That's correct. And back 09 and 10 and 11, and none of the banks was given any money. And I did turn the whole set of paperwork into Mr. Cherry's office, and then the engineer dropped everything. I even paid the impact fee, and I paid the permit, you know, $4,600 to pull the permits and all that. And then the engineer dropped everything, and then I had to start it all over again. So it's, uh, like I said, it was a stream of bad luck. <clears throat> what, what steps, have, or were, what steps have you been done in the last six months from January? All I've been working right now is with the architect, to get the architect, to get the paperwork done, to get the drawing done so I can turn it into the office. So there, there's no drawings right now or anything? It's halfway done. And like I said, I just paid him again. He wanted more money. Tom, when is it up in June? It's June. It was on an June 10, 2016. And so the uh, so that it has expired as we sit here today. Um, if you are going to exercise your option, you have to do that within 60 days of that June 10, which is August 9. Um, the property was uh, for, was deeded from the county to Pyramid Bakery November 18, 2008. It was the first date, and it's been extended you know, since then. So you all have the you know it's up to the board. Y'all can. But in January, when I met with the board they granted me a whole year. So my assumption was from January until January. I didn't realize it's going to go backdated from the last expiration. So maybe it's my fault. I, I remember be. I thought we just extended six months because you had some architectural work that you were getting done and was going to yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, it was six months or a year. In, Jan in January, it was I remember there. six months. That's why I wrote it. I mean, I, I wrote this, and it said the end is June 10, and that's why I wrote it that way. I remember six months, but 
I promise you, and I can raise my hand and swear on anything, it was a you. Uh, I'm sorry. You, you didn't read the paperwork? I apologize, Mr. Lady, because we're still here and discussed it, so I fear, you know, I'm not dealing with somebody out there and not, you know, not trusting. You, uh, you've got to do something. If you're going to exercise the option to repurchase, you've got until August 9 to, uh, to do that. Um, I think you can, number one, you can exercise the option to repurchase. Uh, number two, you could you know, extend it, uh, as Mr. Jarvis is requesting. Um, number three, you know, figure out something else. I mean, it's not a, it's not a regulatory kind of thing. You, you own the property, you own the property, and you sold it to Mr. Sarkis subject to certain restrictions and all that. And decide on which you think is best to do um, between those two. Between those two and whatever else you want to do. I think if, if you if the two parties don't agree, then your choice would be either to exercise the option. Okay. If, if we exercise the option they got to work out an agreement, is that? No, if you exercise the option, then, then the county would probably come back to the county. And, we, and it would be up to the county to market it and resell or do anything else. Yeah. And I lose $90,000 cash. And I have to move for it. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'll even show you the pencil checks that have been made. Well, we have until August the 9th. Mr. Cherry, is there any, uh, anything coming in your office right now on the property? Is there any coming in my office? Yeah. I'm going to give you the business. That's only the two acres. Yeah. But there's other pieces right next to me also, right? Well, this, well, this is joint property. Also, I need a bus line. Is so that means So if I understand this correct, we have an option the option until August the ninth. Um, to exercise the option to reason. If I can uh, throw something out here. If um, um, and that bus line is needing this property apparently because they want to expand, they need an adjoining piece. We've got other parcels out there. I wonder if maybe one of those other parcels might be Mr. Sarkin. Mean, he hasn't started moving earth or anything with that parcel stuff. So. No, but all the plans and everything is wrong is set on that parameters. So now we're talking about starting the whole thing again. You're shifting. Well, but we don't really have anything to work with. When we originally started the site plan, um, the county was going to be bringing in that road. Um, with a CDBG grant, which, and that bus line that it, it got moved to, since we were not able to do that with your project, it was moved to accommodate the Annette bus line. So there's really nothing on that parcel um, that, that's that been done to accommodate your business. Um, that's been the problem with the site plan all along um, in the beginning where it got dropped was we were going to try to get you that CDBG grant to bring in the utilities, but but you weren't able to get the to, to complete that process. So so we lost that grant, um, and we've been waiting for you to come in with something. Um, all I have now is an artist rendering, uh, you know, a facade. I I don't have any kind of site plan. So there's nothing that really pertains to that land that's being lost because we don't have anything any drawings, any site plans that are actually on that piece of paper. But I was under the impression the first uh, architect turned in all the paperwork and that's why I paid the impact fee and... Well, it wasn't an impact fee, it was a site plan review to look at that plan 
but it was subject to the county getting that grant to bring the water and sewer down the side if with a road we were going to create a road to come in that you were going to tie your utilities to. Do you remember that? But before we get too far down there, are, the, are we talking about site plans submitted in 2009? Yes. I mean, we're here in 2016. I think, it, you know, and I, the, the, the issue, I think, is, you know, Mr. Sarkis, is, I mean, you, from 2009 to 2016, you haven't gotten anything done. I mean, I don't know that you can. I mean, I, I'm not saying that, but, you know, you, you, uh, certainly at this point, I think the, the board might be, in, might be justified in moving the, the project somewhere. I mean, I, you know, I mean, I, I think that may be your next best option, you know, because you've got land just right across the street, and, I mean, Got other piece of property around there you might could use. Of course, the street's not going to give me the visibility on the freeway like I I wanted to. That was the first. I was the first one bought that property, and I was there years before I needed a bus line in that So you owned the property years before. You didn't get a business there years before. I mean, that's kind of where what the point of. You know, the thing that's about it, it's been six years, and probably if another business hadn't showed interest in this property, could have easily been another six, another four or five. You know, I mean, looking at it that way. Or five years ago, if we had other businesses interested yeah. in it, it would have been. Um, <coughs> right. But that's the thing, we got a, another business that's interested in the property. We have until August, August 9, August 9. And, but, but please don't tell me to exercise it on August 9. Uh -huh. We didn't make the decision right. a week or yeah. two before that. When the next meeting? Uh, July 13th. July 13th. So you, you got to then. You can re-agenda the decision. Yeah, yeah won't we re-agenda it for the next meeting? And I would highly recommend that if you've got a site plan, you've got architectural drawings, if you've got a plan to, to move forward on the project, I would highly recommend having that. July 15th, there have, you know, everybody's going to be off of 4th of July and all that. Um, well, if we exercise the option, that'll give you 60 days to give well, that was to begin June 10th. Again, June 10th. Yes. So you've got two regular meetings, the 13th and the 27th in July. Neither one of those would give you sufficient time, or you know, if you wanted to call special. 22nd. Yeah. 13th and the 27th. Yeah. You do that, or. And you also know if any of us line is interested in it, and they know I'm under the gun, you know they're not going to give you a line for it. Right. So I'm losing the end. And then if I try to move even faster and you're willing to spend more money to express to get it done, how I know that I'm the 27, you know, working I'm I'm not doubting it, I'm just, you know, talking out of fear right now. I mean you're talking ninety thousand dollars, okay? Mr. Zarkis, my, 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 I guess my comment on that is I think the, the board has been working with you for six or seven years now trying to encourage the, your business to get rooted and started and going. You know, and I agree. So this is not anything to just come up. I agree. But also, because there was no other interest. So now, once one interest came in, I get wrong. You know, well, you know, our, our, we've been encouraging you every time you've come. I in the three years you. I've been set here, please, Mr. Sarkis, move forward on your project. We want you to succeed. 
you know, right. yeah. and, yeah. was much and it just cool. feels like to me that whenever we get any, we extend or we the covenant for 12 months, we don't ever hear anything or see anything for the next 12 months, and then it's back again to extend it another 12 months. And that's what I was saying. If this business hasn't showed interest, we might have went five or six Because we want you, we want it to yeah. succeed because we want the economic development out there. And it, we'd like for it, love for it to be you. But if it's another business, then it's a hard decision to make, and we may have to make that. So what's the pleasure? Would, would the second thing that you have? Still get, you know, time, sure. Yeah, that would be about two weeks before, almost two weeks before. So yes. Sir. Be my motion that we go to second meeting in July. Second. Good, Jim. Can I ask a quick question? What are we doing on the second meeting of July 27th? Or hopefully you can bring us up back. If not, that we're gonna make a decision what we're gonna do. That's that's so. If I probably have full set of plans then everything is going to be back to normal? I, I say, let us just bring whatever you can. We like to see some third turn. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Thanks. Uh, we have a motion and a second to re-agenda this item until, until July the 27th. July the 27th. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, if we would, let's take a 10 minute break. Thank you. Yes, please. Is it the next meeting?